Well, hello there, Libra. It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing your weekly tarot reading for the week of March 13th through the 19th. We'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And this reading is good for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If the message isn't resonating, you may want to try one of your other signs to see if that message is resonating with you. Okay, so let's see what we have here. You're ready for more. Mm, your career is growing and blossoming. Now is the time to make the changes you have been contemplating. Interesting. And far away places. Get ready for new horizons. Um, okay, so Libra, I feel like, especially perhaps in your career sector, there's a big change coming up. It's something that you have have been thinking about okay but it could be that you're literally changing careers changing jobs or moving to a new location okay but there's also this sense of maybe just even having a new mindset about your career um, if you're not thinking about actually changing careers it could have something to do with taking a different approach to the way that you are working you know it could be changing your work schedule or you know um just um yeah they're kind of saying like you know just revamping the way that you work really interesting okay so let's go um take a look at this we have kindred partnerships underneath it could have something to do okay we have deceit underneath that could be something that you have found out that somebody at work has been deceiving you or talking behind your back something like that could even be a partner you could have a business partner um it could have yeah i feel like for some of you you're understanding that I feel like somebody has been taking advantage of you. It's more like an energy of taking advantage of you, of not really perhaps sharing all of the information that they have. Um, I feel like somebody else has intentions that they have been hiding, okay, in perhaps your career, but it could be, it could be any situation, but it does seem to have something to do with your career. You have Queen of Pentacles and Three of Cups. An energy of wanting to reunite or an energy of wanting to celebrate, um, you know, having a good, strong foundation in your career. It could also have something to do with your home. So it could be about kind of like wanting to celebrate your home or or the way that you can um can work in your home, the finances of your home. You might be celebrating something like that. This is something you've been manifesting, trying to get something to go the distance. Wow, really interesting. Okay, so let's go see. Let's go to the Tarot and figure this out. So we have for your present energy, higher self. Looking at this from a higher viewpoint, I feel like maybe you've been down not in the weeds maybe but a little bit kind of like looking down not looking at something and i think that that is why somebody was able to perhaps it's almost like somebody was able to pull one over on you you know you know it, it could be that you were up for a promotion something like that and then somebody weaseled their way in and they got it or say you were uh, you know trying to um, bring in a new client or customer or something like that and then somebody else okay kind of maneuvered their way in and got <laughs> got that client instead yeah there's an energy where something may have gone you see how there's two people here and then a third person here I think somebody got in the middle. Somebody has been sharing some information or or getting in the middle between you and somebody else like you and a client or you and if this is a, if this is a relationship instead of business, you know, somebody has kind of gotten in the middle there. Um and so it's it's about looking take being present. I think you were distracted. 
Somebody may have actually been distracting you. <laughs> that is kind of interesting. Okay, part of the deceit here is somebody may have been trying to um, get your attention drawn away, right? You have three people here. You have three people here. You have three people here. It could be a third party, but I really feel like it's this energy of somebody has been distracting you. Yeah, and then you have the three of pentacles. You know, this energy. Somebody has been trying to distract you. Um, pulling your energy in a couple of different ways, right? And so I think you you took your eye off the uh, you took your eye off of your goal for a slight minute and somebody I think has taken advantage of you. But this is not the first time. Okay? And so it's kind of like, okay, this is a pattern. It could be that this has happened, okay, but this isn't the first time either with that person or the first time that this kind of situation has happened for you in general. So you're taking a look at this. You're kind of like, okay, wait a minute. Hmm, what, how, how did this happen again, right? Three of Pentacles. I feel like you want something to work out there's this strong energy of wanting something to work out, and yet somebody is in the way. Somebody is in the way. This could be a, a romantic connection, right? <laughs> like there's somebody that you are interested in that may also be interested in you, but it's almost like there's this third person that is pulling their energy away or a third person that is pulling your energy away. Really interesting because, I, you know, for a lot of you, I do think it, well, we have, yeah, we have the Hermit and the Hierophant. I, this has, to me, it has more of the energy of a work situation where you don't perhaps work completely by yourself, almost more like a, a corporate or a government or some type of organization that you may work for, okay? So this may not resonate with everybody, but you're, you're toiling away, okay? You're working, but there's a lot of burden and you instantly, it's almost like you're going to have this epiphany this revelation this week that that somebody is holding you back from what it is that you really want they're either trying to distract you or they're working behind the scenes so that you can't have what you want three's a crap uh, i'm just going to say that that's what they're saying three's a crowd there's somebody here that is manipulating this situation and libra i don't think you're <laughs> the manipulator right? I don't think you are. Unless you're trying to, in a way, trying to appease two people and keep, you know, so that you can keep something going, right? But I don't feel like you're, you're I think you, you want this situation to work out, but you don't want the shenanigans that are going on. Yeah, three is a crowd in this situation. Whatever this situation is, it could be romantic. I, I'm not getting a strong sense of romance. We do have a loving man. To me, this is more like you stepping into an energy of loving yourself enough to say, I'm not putting up with this, right? I'm not putting up the, with these shenanigans because I feel like you suddenly understand or see things clearly. This tower moment is an epiphany where you hear something, you see this pattern. It's almost like the pattern is like brought into your eye, right? And then look at this. We have the hermit energy again, going within, knowing, okay, wait a minute, I have different options. I mean, it's really a sense of, I don't want this situation to be part of my life anymore. And you're ready for more. You're, you're ready to make the big move. You're ready to go in a new way because I'm just going to say, Libra, there's this sense of karma here, right? There's a sense of, you know, I feel like you understand that that if you stay in this situation or if you're involved in some way, that you know that that the tower will come down eventually, right? Because karma is going to play out in this situation. Yeah, I think the universe is bringing in some type of offer for you so that you can bow out of this situation. Really nice. Yeah. And the hermit is coming in again. It gives you the confidence to go on your own. I think for some of you, you are going on your own. You know, whatever that might mean. If it's a relationship, you might say, okay, I'm, 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 
I'm going to be single for a while. If you're in a big corporation or something, you might be bowing out. You know, you have the confidence. Something is coming in to give you the confidence to go out on your own, to see that this situation, to see how this situation is, is impacting you negatively um, and perhaps in more than one area of your life. Wow. All right, Libra. I'm sending you love and hugs for that. Um, let's pull a soul truth card and let's get some final advice for you. And I do do personal readings. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. Okay, so uh, I guess the other thing is, is that I'm also getting a message. If it is a romantic relationship. And you are part of a third party because we have a lot of threes here, right? And you are somehow part of a third party. Um, you may want to consider, because the karma is really coming through, you may want to consider how being in a third party, okay, is perhaps affecting your overall karma, okay? Um and that's kind of interesting because I think, you know, underneath you have transformation <laughs> and then you have travel. I think you when you when you understand the karma impact of being perhaps in this situation, you understand the best thing for you to do is to move away from the situation. Let the tower fall. OK, for the other people. Right. Because it's almost like a warning that. You know, if you're resonating that you if you feel like you're in some type of an energy where the karma could come back onto you, um, it's time to take accountability for your part in it and then it move in a different direction. Um, yeah. Am I afraid to be seen? Yeah. OK, so there's something I feel like there is some sense of deception here. OK, and you may part of it may be that you do not want to be seen. OK, in this situation. OK, um, and it doesn't mean I don't mean that you're doing something really bad, Libra or something. But it's kind of like it's a little bit like um, what, what would your mother say? <laughs> it's a little bit like that. Right. If you went and you told your mother your part in this situation, what would your mother say? <laughs> it's kind of like that. Right. Um, would you want your, your sweet grandmother to know? <laughs> it's that is that type of energy. And when you think of it in that way, right. I, um, I think you're going to see the right way for you. And it's almost like a very loving energy from your grandmother that's saying, okay, Libra, you know, um, what part of this, you know, is, is perhaps not something that you want to have in your energy. The world doesn't want you to hold back any longer. Time to shine your unique light on the world. Oh, you were made from love and from love you are whole. whole. There is no more hiding. There is no more shame. There is no more truth there is only truth live naked and free okay so when i was reading that i also got the message okay that by being in this situation allowing yourself to be part of the situation you can't shine your light okay you can't stand up and be your higher self your higher self is wanting to shine your love and light is wanting to shine i feel like you just kind of got caught up in something libra it's you know <laughs> it's nothing terrible right but you may have gotten a little bit caught up in, in something and it's you know it, it could be even just as simple as a little bit of office flirtation or something like that but it's asking yourself okay so why am I getting involved in this right and then is this really for my highest good is this helping me to shine my love and light brightly and if it's not what changes can I make you know what what direction do I go in from here all right, really, actually a really nice message. I think it's something, you know, we all tend to get caught up in things. You know, I was a teacher and sometimes, you know, uh, you know, I taught mostly fourth and fifth grade and sometimes they would just get kind of caught up with their friends or caught up in a situation or something. And when I would say, oh, what, what got you caught up in that? And it sometimes it was just something as innocent. Well, they're just somebody that never paid any attention to me and then they start 
were paying attention to me. And I, I just really liked the attention that they gave me, right? And I was like, yeah, I get that, right? Um, so I feel like it's kind of like, I think you got into this perhaps a little bit innocently. And now it's kind of like, okay, is this really for my highest good? So just take a look at it, think about it. And um, I really do um, appreciate all of your support through liking, commenting, or subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.